have to buy these, you know. Solid. Great ball. To me, like we said previously, look more compact than the MBs but seem to be more forgiving. And it's a, it's a bit of a, because I almost dismissed them because like I said, they're, I know they're not supposed to be, but they're very, very small, top line, very, very thin, very, very compact. And from a confidence perspective, like I said, it, it would be a, a visual issue you'd think, but performance wise, far outweighs that, that doesn't happen. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more with you, to be honest. Honestly, say that again. These would be the ones. Did you say that bit again? I, I couldn't, couldn't agree, agree more, more with you, you. Oh. that's it. Apart from eggs and Starbucks and stuff. Apples. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got, Lou, we're going to start off, you've got a five iron in your hand, and um, obviously you just paid reference to how they look. But my argument is, and we didn't pay too much attention to it in the last review that we did together. No. It sort of went under the radar, but every time I'm using it, I'm thinking, is this something we're overlooking? This because is, it's performing so well, you know. This is TaylorMade's hidden gem. Could be. Go on, give me some feedback. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> Leave it there. Yeah. Right, so switch up to five iron. The longer the iron gets, the, the more difficult it gets for us average golf. And this is where, like I said, it's a, it's a compact iron. I wouldn't necessarily go for this, but, and I say but because I can literally, that's exactly where I'm aiming, by the way. If I knew I had that, I'd probably, probably put that right behind the tree stump, but if I had that much confidence, I can go straight down that fairway. But that's the bit for me, that this is the bit that surprises me. I'm never scared of blades in shorter irons, and seven iron, I always say I'd be comfortably play a blade. But that's a five iron, I'd, I've literally, it's so, easy is the wrong word, isn't it? But it's this, it defies how it looks. That's all I would say in terms of the forgiveness that it provides. Um, I've hardly a bad shot in the couple of weeks I've had it. I've hardly a bad shot with this five iron. We recorded a few today. And it's like, it, 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 like I said, that's all I can say. It defies the way it looks. I'm gonna switch over to you because again, it's definitely more inviting, isn't it? Like, more, the more we hit it. It's it, honestly, it is like I said in the title. Um, this is the surprise package. There's no doubt about it. I aimed for the tree, and I've put it behind it. <laughs> you hear the, the the tree in the middle of the fair? Well, it's left of fairway. I've just literally put it right behind there. It's definitely the line though, isn't it? It's the line normally, but like, if I had more confidence, if I knew I was able to just stripe a five iron, then I'd go for the, uh, maybe just a little bit down the left. In this whole series, I've always been interested more in Lewis's evaluation than mine because of that P790 comparison. So again, he's just got that a yard or two further right than mine, which is perfect. 
similar yeah. sort of distance in terms of where it's carried. My thing in this video and why I wanted to do it is I think a lot of people, myself included, and again at the handicap level that you're at, there's three clubs on the shelf. You've got the 770, the MB and that. Yeah. I honestly think a lot of people will walk away from that based on its looks. I don't mean I don't mean in appearance wise. I mean in how compact it is. Yeah. On how small oh, the top it's line really, is. Really, really, we've noticed well, just, it's really it there, sleek it? there, isn't it? That's the bottom line. If I can get that in focus, that's the bottom line. And for me, I think it's narrower than the MB. Right, so 125 here. 125 just a little down the hill. I've what, just what hit, there's a, well there's a ball at the back of the green that I've just hit which has gone long that's kind of like uh, I need to take a bit off it we're going to have another little pop at this because it's definitely half a shot I'd be interested to see again how the ball reacts if we can get one or if I can get one somewhere on that dance floor let's write on the flag and see what the ball does in terms of react if it's got the that's oh, just again nice controlled sat. nine iron let's well, you mentioned it earlier. I'm going to leave this for you to sort of say because I think it's really interesting is that I knew how that was going to react because I felt it straight back in the hands. And like I said, I'll leave you to elaborate on that one. Um, I said, I'll let you elaborate because you made a reference. You're again, going back to this, you use P790s. Yeah. But you said on a couple of shots that you've hit with these already, there was one noticeable difference and that being at the lower end of the bag. The lower end of the bag with the 790s, sometimes the ball doesn't, react on the greens as i you know as you visualize it you yeah. know sometimes i see it so when you you get one you think well, it's either going to stop dead or or even come back with a wedge and the nine iron and that's a compromise at the minute a bit of it uh, yeah a little bit of a compromise yeah certainly at the bottom end of the bag the feel isn't quite the same which well, that, you'd expect you know what you mean? Would, well just, that way, that's where this big deal about us we said in the last video about the idea of combo sets with these is now an option yeah yeah but I, I just felt it there, like I knew what that ball was going to do. Yeah, and, you and a few shots we've hit today is, it's just come out exactly as I wanted to to come out, but actually it's done what I've wanted to it do. Reacted as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which the, your shot there did it was great, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That if that picked it up, it looked, looked really good. Again, just that half a swing. Yeah, second, there you go. second bounce stops. That's it, just a smooth one. It was going to take that first bounce Yeah, well, the nature of the shot. Yeah. But on the second bounce, grabs did exactly what I wanted it to do. So for me, sometimes with the 790s, it might take that sort of skiddy first bounce mm. um, or sometimes dig in. Yeah. You know, and that's the variable that I just don't want. It did exactly what I wanted it to do to that front pin. Right, final test, seven iron, uh, sort of 165. It'd be bang on my number and what I'll be expecting from this into a par three. Oh, that's all over. Ball flight is superb. Oh, oh! Great shot to finish with, Lou. That's just like, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying nothing. I think that kind of like says it all. That summarises it. Well, again, the, the one thing I was going to go elaborate into is the fact that to me, so again, weaker lofted. Uh, but does bang on the button in terms of a number 165 with a seven iron is me all day long um, so again there's plenty of muscle in there uh, getting that ball to where it needs to go irrelevant and the feel lot. off them is amazing isn't it feel was superb really good the launch of the ball the descent angle of the ball the way the ball stopped on the green there's not many other boxes tick, to tick, tick, is tick, there? tick, tick. Yeah. 